Hi everyone, welcome back to my second fitness vlog. Um, so if you watched last week's you'll know that I jumped right back into a fitness and healthy lifestyle and I went to the gym. I joined the gym again and went to the gym and got all my steps in. I'll link that video down below so that you can catch up. But this is week two. So this is actually Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because it was Easter Monday. We were all here together but I did nip off to the gym at nap time and do a leg session but the gym was heaving so I didn't really want to film. So that, that has been done and today's a rest day. We're going to go into town and get our steps in once I find a t-shirt to cover up this. But I'm loving this little, this isn't even a set, this is Fabletics leggings and a Primark sports bra. But I'm still a bit conscious of my mum tum in the middle so I will be covering that up. The goal is in the summer to just go to the gym dressed like this and actually feel comfortable and confident so hopefully I make some progress and I'll vlog, I'll vlog along the way and hopefully I can be in the gym wearing like a, even if it's like shorts and a sports bra in the summer which would be absolutely fab. Um, where was I? Yeah so today is a rest day so we I'm going to try and get my steps in because I've been getting at least 8,000 nearer actually 10 and 12,000 on the days we walk up into town so I'm going to try and get those in. And then I'm going to show you how I made that sweet potato breakfast hash thing, but I'm going to do it for lunch. That's going to be today's sort of, re it's going to be today's recipe because it's a rest day, so I'm not going to be filming any workouts. So I'll show you a recipe that I've been making. I made it last week and it was so good and I've still got all the ingredients so I can do more. And that's, that's the plan for today. Tomorrow I'm going to try and do a back session. I'm going to lower my weights because last week, if you watched last week's vlog, you'll see that it didn't go quite so well. Uh, I think, I don't know if I was lifting too heavy or having an off day, but what I'll do is I'll drop the weights down and see if that goes a little bit better. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'll go just now and I'll show you what the rest of the week looks like as, as week two. So I'm still off work. Um, I'm on my Easter holidays, my husband is working today, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, so it's just me and my daughter and I'm still going to stick to routine, I'm still going to try and get to the gym, I'll either be going tomorrow morning first thing or tomorrow evening when he's back, probably first thing is better because it'll be a bit quieter and I'll get on the stuff. So that's the plan, stick to the routine, that's a challenge, it's going to be a big challenge but I'm going to do it because I want to feel good this summer. Anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you how this week is going and stay tuned for a recipe for my sweet potato hash recipe. Hi, so we are just back our walk and I have now done almost 6,000 steps, three miles and 335 of my move goal. So we're getting there for today and the time is 20 to one. So I didn't actually wake my little girl up until 25 to nine today. So nap time's a bit later. So I'm just gonna quickly make my lunch. She's had hers, but I'm gonna make a little bit extra because she'll always want to pick at mine. So it's going to be sweet potato breakfast hash, sweet potato and chorizo hash it's called. So I will show you how I'm gonna do that. It's so easy, so quick to make, and it's really, really tasty. So let's get on with that. So I've peeled, washed and diced into cubes a big sweet potato and that's just going to go straight into this. For some reason drawer. the sound is mucking up here but what I'm basically telling you is to put one tablespoon of this lazy garlic into the air fryer drawer as well with the sweet potato and I'm just putting everything into the air fryer here. Next up I'm going to put some smoked paprika over the top as well and give it a good spray with oil, a good shake about and then I'm going to put it on the air fry for 190 degrees for 10 minutes. So whilst that is air frying, I'm going to chop up some chorizo. I've just got the, I've got a spicy Spanish one from Aldi. Some chestnut mushrooms and some baby tomatoes. Last time I did it, I did it with bell pepper and that worked really well, but I don't have any left. So these will have to do today. The video has done the same again, so I'm just chopping up the chorizo into tiny little quarters because then the flavour goes right through the dish much better. Next up, I'm chopping up the onions into nice small pieces. 
And then I've got these plum tomatoes. I'm just going to put them in the air fryer hole and just let them roast. These will all go in three minutes before the end of cooking time. So I'm just going to grate up some cheese whilst I'm waiting on all of that to cook. Last time I used goat cheese and it worked really, really well. But today I'm going to try some of the lighter mature cheddar and see how that goes. So these are all the ingredients that are ready to go in the air fryer drawer at the three minutes towards the end. Hi, now is the time to stick extra things in here so let's do that And this is a finished dish. I'm really sorry for this, the way this has been put out. I'm not really sure what happened to the recording. It was playing for about a minute and then just going on to slow-mo and I have no idea why. So I'm really, really sorry. Hopefully it doesn't do this tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So it is about 20 past seven. It's Wednesday morning and I'm just on my way to the gym to do a back session. Um, I've got a long sleeve top on. It is so, so cold. I could hardly get to sleep last night. I think it was about midnight before I got to sleep. I don't know why. Uh, so I'll, I will sleep tonight. That's a good thing. So I literally have the the time it takes me to do my workout today to get it done. So I don't have much extra time. I don't know how I'm going to get my steps in, basically is what I'm saying today, because I need to be home in time to let my husband get to work. And we are then, me and my daughter are meeting my mum to go swimming swimming for her not swimming for me so it's like there's no movement involved for me so it's not going to count as steps or movement or anything at all so I don't know what I'm going don't know how I'm going to get it done today basically I'm not going to want to drag her out in the cold and wind because it is pretty stormy here if it's a little bit quieter today I might be able to film a little bit um more than usual so we'll see because I've never been this early before although the more I talk the later it's getting so let, let us get going I've just seen how busy the gym car park is. There's probably a little chance I'm gonna get any filming done. It looks absolutely heaving. Anyway, I'm just go I'm I'm outside it. I'm I'm not in the gym car park, I'm in the other bit to try and get some steps in. I'm just gonna eat this banana and then I'm gonna head on in. I'm back home now. Well, I'm in the car out in the driveway at the front. So that was really good workout. It was much stronger than last week. I did put the weights down slightly, only a tiny little bit, but it felt much better and much stronger. So I don't know what was going on last week. So I definitely had more than a tiny little banana before the workout last week. I don't know. Anyway, it went really well. I warmed up on the elliptical so that I could warm up my arms and back a bit with the arm things. Did my back workout and then I finished with intervals on the treadmill. So I did about 10 minutes, two minutes of fast jogging, one minute of a quite a fast walk for 10 minutes. So I managed to get some steps in. So I'm at about three and a half thousand now. So I think with an active nap time doing the housework that really needs done, I should be able to get that done. So the time is 20 to nine. I was a bit longer than I thought I was going to be. Need to run in, get a very quick shower, get something quick to eat, and we've got about half an hour before we're leaving to go meet my mum to go swimming. So I just need to throw some things in a bag. Pretty much packed it last night, but it's like extra snacks and stuff for my toddler. So that's the plan, half an hour. So I'm glad that's done. I really quite enjoyed that morning workout. I think I might try and do some more first things in the morning because that's it done. It's 20 to 9 and it's done. I could get out of my bed a bit earlier if I fell asleep a bit earlier. So maybe tomorrow I might, I'm tempting to try, tempted with trying circuits, although it's a rest day, I really am craving like doing a circuits class. So I might just go do it and then it'll be chest day on Friday. So I'm going to go now and go and get some breakfast and get all sorted and head off. So I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Hello. So today is Thursday and I am not long home from a gym class. I kind of decided yesterday that I just felt like doing some sort of group fitness circuit class. So 
a circuit class I did and whoa it was probably the hardest but the best circuit class I've ever done. It was really really intense, really good exercises, it was like hip thrusts and everything and it was really good weights. There was very little rest, it was 10 rounds, sorry no no it wasn't, it was there was 10 exercises, we did 40 seconds on one, 15 seconds rest, moved to the next one and we did those 10 exercises for four rounds, so we went around four times and there was no longer than 15 seconds rest between them, so there was no break between any of the, the, the rounds. So I was kind of expecting a break and I was like, no, nope, keep going, okay. Right, so I was bright red when I came out, I was so hot. So I've got myself an iced coffee. This isn't a protein one because the Nespresso pods, can you tell, has anybody else got a Nespresso machine that you and they use the ice pods? Because when I put the ice pods in, the over ice ones, they come out hot. So I've put loads of blocks of ice, in, loads of ice cubes, blocks of ice, loads of ice cubes in this and a little splash of oat milk. So this is the coconut one. I'm just going to enjoy this before I get my daughter up. So I'm showered and makeup on and dressed and everything. We've got a play date today, so I'm going to let her sleep a bit longer so we can push nap time back a bit because it's like half an hour away. When she gets up, I'm going to make a really good substantial breakfast. It'll be avocado and eggs on toast. So I won't show you that because I think I'll probably end up showing that in every vlog because it's my staple go-to filling nutritious breakfast. So yeah, you don't need to see that again. I think it was in last week's vlog as well, maybe even twice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy this and chill out. I've done something like 277 calories on my move goal this morning and it was only like two and a half thousand steps because it was just a circus class but oh feeling good so I'm definitely going to close these rings today so that'll be almost two weeks now of closing all the rings on my apple watch which I don't think I've ever done before so I will catch up with you tomorrow and let you know what I'm going to do then I don't think I'm going to do Saturday I think I might take Saturday and Sunday off of the gym and just do a walk because that class was intense. I'm going to feel that, definitely. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later on. Bye-bye. I'm just on my way out now to do a chest session. It's that nap time on the Friday. I've, I'm wearing the exact same outfit as I think as I wore last Friday, I think. But I've added a hat today because it's so bright and sunny. So I thought I'd get back into wearing hats. So I am going to go do a chest session and then I'm going to see if I can do some interval training on the treadmill after it, see how I go, because I just want to get my cardio up. So we've been a big walk down to the big public park today. So I've got like six and a half thousand steps in already and quite a lot of my move goal. So I'm definitely gonna hit it today. I'm gonna to walk up to the gym. I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna nip into the shop and get something for dinner for tonight and tomorrow. And then that'll be me back for whatever we choose to do after my little girl wakes up. So <clears throat> hopefully get a little bit more movement in then. But I think every day this week, I've already closed all my Apple watch rings. So I'm keen to keep that going until the end of this month if I can. I did miss the first and the second of the month which is so annoying. I don't even know how I missed it. Um, anyway, off I go to the gym. It's probably going to be very very busy and very very hot um, but it's actually quite a cold wind outside so I've got my nice zipper on just in case for walking up. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye bye. I think this is one of the first times I've ever gotten up before my whole family and with the intention of just taking myself out on a walk for an hour and I don't know why I've never done it before. It's nearly half past seven. I did kind of oversleep a bit. My daughter started crying at half past three this morning, but like three three cries. By the time I'd even got out of my bed, she'd stopped. So I don't really, she must have been dreaming. But that was me awake until I think I seen about half past five on the clock. So when my alarm went at seven, I just did not want to get up. Anyway, I'm going to go on an hour's walk. I didn't do my treadmill interval training yesterday 
because I was just absolutely exhausted and my muscles are all sore and achy because it has been a hard week training. Legs, push, pull and that really, really hard circuits class. So today's just walk and recovery. So I've got to, I'm just boiling the kettle to make myself a coffee just now and I'm just going to take it in my wee travel cup, pop my headphones on and just walk for an hour. It's a beautiful day. I'll show you what it's like outside in a wee minute. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to just listening to a podcast because I've been listening to podcasts on the way up to the gym. But I've obviously only had like 15 minutes of walking time and then having to put it off. So it'll be nice to just like listen to it all the way through. So I'm going to go make my coffee and then I'm going to go get my steps in. The window's very, very dirty, but look at the sky up there. It's so blue. Hey, so it's much later in the day now and I'm just catching back up with you. I, I came in, got showered, um, had quickly had my breakfast and then I had to run back out the door again. So I'm just home. I've just filmed a pre-mark haul. So you'll see this on Sunday. If you're watching my vlogs, I, I put vlogs out on a Wednesday and a Sunday. So this, this pre-mark haul, I'll hopefully have edited and out on Sunday. There are some good bits. There are some not so good bits which will be getting returned because they're not the most flattering things. I've also oversized in absolutely everything. So I'm kind of debating whether to take things back and get smaller sizes, but I love what I've picked. I absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to wearing all these, these nice new things in summer. Anyway, steps are done today. I've managed to hit 10,000 already. My move goal is I'm 50 calories away from my move goal, which I will absolutely do well before bedtime so that's going to be good and tomorrow if I do all my steps which I've got a walk planned in the morning with another mum and her toddler and her baby so we'll probably get the steps in tomorrow and that'll be two full weeks of solid steps and um, solid apple rings being closed which I don't think I've ever done I think I said that yesterday as well so I had I made up a little veggie mix with um peppers, tomatoes, cucumber, all chopped up really, really tiny with some piri piri, no, sriracha mayo and normal mayo. Mixed it all together. I put it in a wrap with goat's cheese and wrapped it up and put it in the air fryer. It was lovely. Really, really good and really easy. I also managed to do a little bit of a food shop whilst I was out. I only had to get like fruits and wraps and bread and that kind of thing because we've got gusto coming tomorrow. So I'm excited to try some new gusto meals. It's been a while since we've had gusto. So I feel like I've had quite a lot, I'm not tracking calories, but I feel like I've had a lot of protein in today. I had strawberry protein powder mixed in with Greek yogurt and muesli for breakfast, which you'll have seen in the clips. Then when I went to the shops, I was absolutely starving. So I got one of those packets of fridge raiders, which were 155 calories. And I can't remember how much protein was in them, but it was like a fair amount. Then I came home and had my wrap with the goat's cheese. That's probably not enough not a lot not a lot of protein in that but we didn't have much else in so i had that and here we are so tonight's dinner it's just me and my toddler so i'm gonna do this is two things that she will eat not necessarily two things that go well together prawns 
and red pesto pasta. I don't know how that's going to taste and imagine it'll be okay. It's sun-dried tomato pesto pasta. She um, Sun-dried tomato pesto. She always eats pasta and she always eats prawns and we've got the full planet of prawns, 150 grams to share between us. So I'm sure that should go down quite well. And that's quite a high protein day for me. I'm going to have another snack probably with my toddler when she wakens up. It's only half two. I'll be getting her up in 15 minutes. I'll have another snack with her. Probably something with protein in it. I'm not sure what yet. Don't know. And that will be the end of today. Will be almost the end of week two. Tomorrow will be officially the end of week two. So I will catch you up tomorrow and let you see. Yeah, I'll just I'll chat you through how my week's gone and what the plans are for the next week. I don't know if I'm gonna do weekly vlogs like this every single week of the journey. I might just mix it up with some recipes and I don't know. Do you want? Do you, would you like a what I eat in a day? Would that be helpful for you? I don't know people's feelings and thoughts on that. Um, and I'm obviously not tracking calories, so would if I was to do that, would you like me to put the calories and the protein and the macro breakdowns on the screen, or are you happy just to have the recipes just to follow and then you can kind of figure out your own calories from it? I don't know. Let me know. Thoughts and opinions, all welcome. Please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for sticking with me if you've got this far. In fact, I haven't shown you my protein coffee recipe yet, so I could do that tomorrow. My iced coffee and I can take it out with me on the walk. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let, let me show you that tomorrow. Happy Sunday. So we have been out a nice walk this morning, just me and my toddler, and we met another mum friend and her little girl and her baby. And we walked to the public park again, fed the squirrels, went to the swing park. The girls played for ages in the swing park, it was great. And then walked back home again. So I've done 3.3 .3 miles and 6,000 steps. So I think by the end of today, it's nap time, it's quarter past one. By the end of today, I'll have um, hit my steps, I think. And that was nice to get out a walk with a friend this morning. The weather's not brilliant. So I didn't make my iced coffee this morning because it didn't look particularly hot or sunny. So I put that in next week's vlog. when it Because it's to be beautiful weather all week next week. I'm back to work tomorrow. So I don't know how it's going to go like fitness and exercise wise. Obviously food's going to be fine. We've got gusto coming. And I've got lots of nice healthy meals prepped. I've got like a wee veggie salsa in the fridge. So I can just kind of like scoop lots of veggies out basically it makes it 10 times easier really like that that idea um yeah so that's the end of this week i think it's gone well i've lost since the very start i've lost about three kilos but i'm very well aware a lot of that will be like water retention kind of thing so there'll be a lot of water weight there'll be a little bit of body fat gone in there haven't been tracking calories but I've been really hungry yesterday and today, so maybe I am eating a little bit less than what I should be. So maybe I will start tracking next week just to see kind of where things are. I know the gusto meals will be a little bit higher in calories, so I might have to even it out and look at like breakfast and lunch and kind of cut the calories from that. But yeah, it's been successful two weeks. I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making. I'm happy that I've been able to stick to four workouts a week, been getting my steps in been getting walks in every day it's making a difference the weather being able to do this because in the winter and even autumn i'm just not motivated at all so it'll be good to do this in the summer <clears throat> i'm hoping to start seeing some physique changes over the next what about we're only two weeks in so I'll give it another couple of weeks and then i'll hopefully be able to see some changes anyway i am going to go and make myself a big cup of tea Thank you so much for watching the vlog. I'll put up a little picture of my the week of Apple Rings clothes just for accountability, just to show that I have moved and closed all the rings every day this week or even most of the month. I missed the first and the second. It's so annoying that I missed the first and the second. I don't know what I was doing on the 2nd of April, but I've hardly closed any of the rings. Maybe I didn't have my watch on. can't remember. Anyway... I will love you and leave you just now and I will catch you up in another vlog. Please let me know in the comments, do you want to see this type of vlog every week? 
like where I'm just kind of charting what I'm doing or do you want to see something a bit more specific like what I'm eating and what I'm like I don't know like what else would you like to see please let me know that would be really really helpful thank you <laughs> bye bye